Hi, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you a demo about how to place grass on uh, Unreal Engine Open World Landscape project. Here I'm using Open Land, and the reason why I'm doing it is uh, one of the customers having some issues with placing grass uh, with Open Land. So I'm going to show him the process that I use. Uh, maybe, yeah, we can uh, learn uh, by doing this. And also, this is a uh, not unedited video so you will find me uh, posters here and there and try to escape uh, from your youtube speed bar or whatever the skip bar and try to go to the specific places uh, so let's get started here i uh, use open land as the landscape material also i'm using one grass engine for grasses but of course you can use any sort of grass mesh you have already Alright, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna create a new level. Uh, I'm gonna go with a, yeah, this open world uh, base game. So I have some landscape to work with. But of course we can start with the empty world as well. But I'll go with this one. And I'm gonna say create. Right, uh yeah, uh, looks good. I'm gonna save this. Uh let's say tutorial. So let's wait until it does all these things for a moment. All right, it seems like some textures are compiling. Okay, uh, we don't need to wait. So yeah, uh, it looks like this. This is about like a 2K or 4K landscape. And we have chunks here and there. I mean like, a, yeah. Okay, good. All uh, right, so what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna at the landscape material open land landscape material so this is interesting like uh, this is a project uh, so that i create with open world and it don't really have landscape material when, uh, when you are signing a new landscape material things are a little bit tricky uh first you need to select your like a whole area in your world partition and try to load it it's a big map so you need to do it uh, one by one yeah uh, some chunks at a time all right Okay, here we have H loads. I'm frankly not sure how to generate H load. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so the first part I'm trying to do is I'm gonna select my landscape like this, and then I'm gonna select all the streaming proxies. So I can select one over. I mean, I can go to the bottom, and I think I can simply hit shift and yeah, do this, and I think it will select everything. Yep, it does. So then here on the details panel, I think I can search for material. Yeah. So I have the landscape material over here. Then I can select my landscape material. Since I'm using open land over here, I can drop it down like this. I'm going to select MI underscore open land. Yeah, theme default. I'm going to select this one. Then I hope yeah, it will take some time. No, actually. Yeah, it was quite fast. Okay. Now my uh, yeah landscape looks like I mean like yeah like this it expected all right all right so then what i'm doing is i'm gonna go to my landscape mode go to my paint section and here i'm gonna select the uh, auto forest as my base layer i mean the first paint layer uh, you should try to like yeah do this i mean basically add some sexual landscape stuff now it start to compiling stuff here and there i think the reason why you will see some sort of this like like yellow stuff is because i think because of the slots uh they might have the uh the older landscape material i guess but i'm quite not sure how it works uh, unfortunately uh, so I think what I try to do is I restart my project again so it will fix everything so is this tutorial yes right now yeah everything looks good right landscape wise okay this is fine so now let's try to place some grass here and there all right uh, it's quite easy I'm gonna go to my uh, all content and we have open land directory and grass directory and here we have a couple of uh, grass masks mask 
So if you don't know how Open Lens Glass system works, I'm going to do a brief here. But if you want to learn more, we have a different video about how to customize a lot of things. Uh, so just check the description for that. And you can customize it after by doing this. So basically, we add grass on the uh, base auto material. So I'm going to open the GT ground. And I'm going to put some grass mesh. Uh, let's do 200 over here sorry 200 and the grass mesh you can put any static mesh i know there's one called slender comes with uh, one grass engine i'm going to use that uh, about the call distance 8000 to 10000 so between 8000 and 10000 there's kind of like a ramp uh, like a fading away ramp uh, about the scale wise i'm gonna like to do 0 0.10 here maybe 1.5 over here so i have quite a um, range of grass gonna save this right looks good okay and it looks a little bit blur like bluish I guess it's yeah it's I'm gonna play this first all right so grass is there but I think I have some blue stuff that's because of RVD stuff I guess uh, maybe I, I customized the one grass engine grass mesh and that's why you can see this it's quite easy to fix actually uh, uh, I can turn up the uh, RVD setup in the uh, one grass engine because uh, that's the easiest thing or I can simply add RVD uh, but in this case I'm gonna remove the RVD stuff from one grass engine so I'm gonna go for you don't have to do this if you're using some other static mesh so I'm gonna search for one grass over here yeah grass engine not that I guess one grass engine content yeah this one I guess All right, this one I'm gonna one grass engine content uh, we have examples study grass we have something called slender and we have the uh, last material and we, uh, we I think I have enabled the RVT blending no I, I, I haven't interesting uh, maybe uh, then I, I'm seems like I'm using uh, some other grass. So yeah, this is not one grass. So this is open line grass. I'm, I'm sorry. All right, what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna again open the grass uh, system with open land. Yeah, GT ground. So. I simply use a grass from open land uh, grass that's why we have this problem uh, anyway uh, I'm gonna use slender again I'm gonna use it uh, from the one grass yeah this is one the one grass so it makes everything simpler right okay now we have grass okay sorry about that uh, so basically uh, if I move my uh, actor here and there I have grass okay all right uh, so you can see some uh, PM ground over here that's because I customized the uh, blueprint a little bit to show you some stuff and also texture screaming pool screaming that's because like I think I had to change some settings texture streaming uh, maybe uh, something called pool yeah there's uh, yeah streaming pool size I think it's quite low yeah, thousand, uh, I think thousand megabytes. I don't know, maybe yes. Yeah, I'll put something around 10,000, uh, 2,000 for right now. It will get rid of this issue. It seems like I don't need, this. yeah. All right, uh, okay. So it's looking good. So now what I want to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide some grass here and there. So it's quite easy uh, what you have to do is uh, you can go to the landscape section again you can go to the uh, paint and there's one called remove grass I'm gonna add a layer in for that and I'm gonna select it so then I can simply paint it over here but when I'm doing that I need to increase the tool strength a little bit I mean like to the maximum it will compile the shade okay you get the idea so now we can do like this 
and also you can uh, re reduce the tool strength a little bit and actually get some fading effects as well so it's up to you uh, and brush follow up you can increase that so there are a couple of th things that you can do right then if you want to get this back again uh, what you have to do is uh, hold shift and try to paint it again like this so then uh, it will uh, yeah it will remove the remove grass layer so this is uh, how you can uh, actually manually uh, do things also if you are painting uh, with some other other layer for example here we have a sand layer I'm gonna grab my sand layer I'm gonna paint some sand over here so it will compile stuff uh, yeah so if you put some other layer like sand so then what happened is like uh, you lose grass on that area so that's how uh, usually the open land works but if you want to retain grass like this uh, what you have to do is uh, I'm gonna paint some else and we have a, like a layer called elf sand alpha so basically it's an alpha blend layer uh, so what happened is uh, so it will paint something on top of the existing place so right now I have the auto material uh, behind this so then it will grow grass then if I if I if I paint uh, with the alpha layers like this right you will have sand on the bottom uh, I'm gonna reduce the camera speed a little bit all right you have sand on the bottom you can see over here uh, but uh, you will also have grass it has no effect on that if you want to remove grass on this area you have to use the uh, remove grass uh, paint brush uh, actually like this all right uh, so that's the difference between the alpha and uh, normal layers in terms of the uh, grass system uh, this is about it and now uh, you know the basics of uh, this one uh, I can target different areas so we have different slopes uh, in the auto layer so you can uh, add different uh, grasses over here also if you're using a smart mask uh, you can uh, procedurally uh, place grass here and there uh, you can use this um, likewise if you want to learn about, learn, about, learn about how to do customize stuff a lot of and you can uh, and if you want to and if you want to learn more about customizing this, I suggest you to uh, check my other video on uh, how to use uh, like customizing open land grass system. So I can play. Yeah, everything works. Uh, yeah, as I want. Uh, so this is about it. Uh, and, and system works. Uh, for the customer who said uh, this doesn't work, uh, it works. I bet something got messed up in your when you're customizing open land or some other way uh yeah i suggest you'd like start with a fresh project like this try to see how the system works uh once you understand that uh you can uh, try to see what's the difference in your other material and try to fix it up fix things up uh yeah uh this is about it um see you soon with something interesting Bye.